One common mistake is lunging with an almost overlapping stride position, which creates a balance issue that hinders the exercise's effectiveness. It's best to plant your feet slightly less than hip width apart for every lunge. Additionally, taking steps too close together can create a triangular shape and put excess stress on the front knee. Aim for a rectangular shape and ensure that your front knee doesn't go past your toes. Lastly, avoid dropping your knee to the floor on every rep, as it can harm your knee and take tension off your legs at the bottom of the movement. Let's move on to an upper body exercise, dips on the parallel bars. Avoid doing dips on a bench as it puts your shoulders in an unnatural position and can cause impingement due to your hands being locked behind your back. Fortunately, with parallel bars, you can do dips without this issue. However, even with regular dips on parallel bars, there are common mistakes to address. One mistake is doing partial reps. Ensure you go all the way down until your upper arm is almost parallel with the ground. If you can't do this, work on improving your tricep strength with other exercises or use an assisted pull-up machine or resistance bands. Another mistake is going too low, as it can place unnecessary stress on the shoulders. Additionally, avoid flaring your elbows out too far or trying to keep your body perfectly vertical. Instead, lean forward with your chest in front of your hips to concentrate on your triceps. Let's move on to dumbbell and barbell chest presses. The most common mistakes include having your elbows flared too far out or too tight to your ribs. Flaring your elbows too far out puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders and rotator cuff, while having them too close to your rib shifts the tension away from your chest and towards your triceps and the front of your shoulder. Keep in mind that grip width can also affect this. For a wider grip, your elbows will naturally flare out a little wider, while for close grip presses, they'll naturally be a little tighter your body. Ideally, with a dumbbell press or regular bench press, we want our elbows to be about 75 degrees away from our body, but no more. Another mistake is curving the lower back too much before beginning the exercise. We want to maintain a natural lumbar curve in our lower back and bring the shoulder blades back and tight together. But we don't want to look like we're bridging while we're bench pressing, as this increases the risk of injury to your neck and lower back. Finally, another mistake is ending with the weight above or below your shoulders. Even if you follow an arc-like path during a bench press, at the end of the movement, the bar or dumbbells should always be in line with your shoulders, not below them or above your head. Let's transition to a different chest exercise. When performing cable flies, it's common to observe individuals extending their arms and cables excessively far back. This can be problematic, since the wide angle of the elbows in this exercise already places a significant amount of tension on the shoulders. Overextending can increase the risk of injury, specifically hyperextension. To avoid this, aim to stop even with your chest or slightly further back before raising the weight again. Additionally, beginners may lock out their elbows while performing the exercise, which adds unnecessary pressure on the elbows and reduces tension on the targeted chest muscles. To target the chest effectively, maintain a slight bend in the elbows and envision hugging a broad tree. Finally, rounding shoulders too far forward can negatively impact the exercise effectiveness, as it can with chest presses. Retracting your shoulder blades and thrusting your chest forward can help combat this problem. Up next is the bent over barbell row. Many people struggle with deciding where to bring the bar, whether to bring it closer to the chest or towards the belly button. While neither option is necessarily wrong, it's important to choose the appropriate target for the muscles you want to engage. Rows towards the belly button will target the middle back and lats, while rows closer to the chest will engage the upper back muscles. Remember that the extent of the exercise also depends on how far you bend forward. It's crucial to maintain a neutral lumbar curve and avoid rounding of the spine, which can lead to serious lower back injuries. To prevent this, stick your chest out, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and maintain a big chest. Additionally, sticking your butt out and keeping your head up can help maintain proper form. When lifting anything off the ground in a bent over position, remember to pull with your elbows instead of your hands to engage the back muscles effectively. One exercise that often poses problems is the cable tricep extension, whether using an easy bar or a rope. One mistake is failing to lock your elbows in place, which should be tight to your ribs without swinging back and forth. Doing so can involve your lats and decrease the exercise's effectiveness. Additionally, standing too straight up inhibits your ability to extend fully, especially with an easy bar, so slightly bending forward is recommended for better range of motion and targeting of the triceps. As for the lat pulldown, the most common mistake is excessive swinging of the bar towards your chest, which can lead to lower back injury and reliance on momentum instead of your lats. To avoid this, 
position yourself right under the bar, stick your chest out, and use your shoulder blades to complete most of the reps without assistance. Another mistake is pulling the bar too low, which can strain your shoulders and limit the effectiveness of the exercise. Instead, aim to bring the bar to your chin or upper chest. Finally, pulling with your elbows too close together hinders proper contraction and targeting of the lats. A better approach is to pretend to bring your elbows behind your back for optimal results. Let's review the final exercise for today, which is Skull Crushers. To properly execute this exercise, it's important to keep your elbows close together. Many people make the mistake of flaring their elbows out too far during Skull Crushers and French Curls, which takes the focus off the triceps. Another common mistake is bringing the bar above your head on the way down. Remember, the target should be your forehead on every rep. Going behind your head may allow you to lift more weight, but it also limits the effectiveness of the exercise for your triceps. Be careful not to aim too low for your teeth or collarbones, as it can compromise your elbow position. Finally, make sure to pinch your shoulder blades back while performing the exercise, similar to chest pressing exercises. I hope this video has been helpful, and remember, taking the right actions consistently is key to achieving your fitness goals. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more free tips and tricks like the ones you've learned here today. Also, add some other exercises in the comments that you often see being performed wrong in the gym. All right, guys, that's it for today. See you all in the next one.